Hey you, what is going on there YouTube? This is The Gaming Guy. And today's video is a rather uh, large, exceptional video as you have probably seen by what is all around me. So today's video, we're going to be going through my Supreme collection. This is not accessories, this is not stickers, it's not skateboard decks, this is just everything else. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I've been up for an hour and a half getting all of this stuff out from where it is or where it's hidden to bring it into here to be able to record this video. So, there's a lot. There are a lot of items, so if it's above 20 minutes, if it's above 30 minutes, I'm still gonna upload it because I said that I would upload a long video for once that just goes through and details everything. I have got an order to this, sort of. Uh, I'm going to go through like head, then bottom, like top, then bottom, then mid, sort of low. I, I don't know. You'll see when we get into it, but yeah, let's just get into this. <laughs> As always, if you enjoyed this video, like, be much appreciated. And yeah, I don't know how I'm going to take the thumbnail for this because it's going to be ridiculously hard, but we're going to try. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to start off with hats or things that go over your head. Um, where do we begin? Uh, beanies. We'll go with beanies first. Okay, first up is an item I picked up off eBay for... £12 I think it was. It was stupid. It went at like midnight or 1am or something on like a Tuesday evening so people weren't really bothered and it's an SS12 I believe uh, blue beanie. I really like it you know it's obviously got the supreme thing there but yeah um, I, I like to wear beanies during the winter time obviously there's it's inside the tag um, but I like to wear ween weenies? weenies. I like to wear beanies during the winter time uh, so this was just an easy pickup for me for like just about ten pounds. So and I got it about a year ago, so it's quite a while now it's been. I think I might just go up in price when it comes to the beanies. Um, so the next one I picked up last year, I think it was it's full winter. It must be full winter this one. Uh, but it is a snake skin, the snake skin themed one. Um, I got the red and black colorway. Uh, I haven't worn it yet. Yeah, it's FW. Um, I haven't worn it yet. I don't really know. Uh, mainly because this, the winter time has sort of passed um, and if it's passed I'm not going to wear it when it's like 30 celsius, 20 celsius out because that's not worth it. The final beanie that I own is also from FW17 but this one is the new era box logo beanie for the ice blue colourway. Um, obviously still dead stock. I think they're going for about £90 or something at the moment which is just it's just nuts what they're going for. But yeah, I copped that for retail. Um, I was going to wear it, but then again, the season ended and it just passed, so I never did. Let me know down below if you own any of the Supreme beanies or whether you just would buy a normal beanie. I mean, for £10, it's the same price. I think it's cheaper than the other beanie that I've actually got that I wear a lot. So, and the fact that it's Supreme, you know, it's just a plus. Okay, so we've only got two of these of the next item, but they're caps or camp caps or whatever you want to call them. The first one I got in SS16 uh, was one of my first proper Supreme purchases. It's the Abstract Camp Cap. It's still dead stock. Well, but you can't... <laughs> You can't really say that like caps are dead stock, but it's never been worn. Because of the fact that I picked one of these up about four or five months later that was in not as great condition, I completely forgot about this as I put it into the sticker bag. And um, I picked another one up that I was wearing instead, which I then sold at Crep City November, I believe, for like double of what I paid for it. So jokes on whoever bought it off me, because I got it off eBay for a steal. <laughs> Okay, the next cap or five pan or whatever it is, I, I, I hate, I think it's camp cap. I'm just going with camp cap. Um, it's a lot older. It's six years old now. Um, and it's just a piece that I try to keep as safe as possible because it has suede on it. I believe it's suede. Um, so this is the SS12 uh, flower camp cap. Uh, there's also a white colorway, which I really like. Um, and there's also a pair of shorts that can match with these. However, the shorts are about £250, so it's quite expensive for them and I don't think I'll be getting them anytime soon. This is a piece that I just try to keep as literally safe as possible because I just really like it. And there was a picture that I saw, I might be able to find it and flash it up on screen, but there's a picture I saw of doing like a fit pic of it um, with another item. Um, <laughs> And it just looked really cool. It just looked like a really cool image. Okay, moving on. We're going to be moving on to shoes next. 
um, because I do have a couple of pairs of shoes. So yeah, let's get them. <laughs> With the shoes we'll be going from obviously most recent then going into the past pretty much. Um, so obviously the most recent are going to be the Air Force, um, Supreme Air Force ones, uh, mids I think they are, that I got the NBA ones in the black colorway. Everyone took the like piss out of these for some reason and still are to be honest, but like I, I don't know, I like it overall. To some people they might see it as a stupid design but everyone's got an opinion so but yeah, I just like it to be honest. Um, I'll keep them for quite a while though because the white colorway you can wear in the summertime whereas black, your feet will burn up. So I might not be wearing them anytime soon just for that pure fact. Anyone else hate paper that is like in these shoes? I always manage to like rip it or something in the end and I can't even put it back. Anyone else get this as well? Like it, it doesn't, it just, doesn't want Adidas boxes do it the worst. Yeezys, absolute horrific things to do this for. Like, so anyway, we'll go on to these next, which probably one of my favourite pair of Supreme shoes that I've got. I used to wear these quite a lot. More recently, I haven't, but they are definitely my most worn pair that I still keep in good condition. So these are the Phone Posit ones or SP ones, Phone Posit SP one uh, Supremes. Air Phone Posit there. Uh, this is the black and gold colorway. I think it's a really dope shoe. Like you can't take away from the fact phone posits are just really nice shoes. My brother's got a pair and he's got the shorts as well I think to match. Um, he did have the full outfit at one point but I think he ended up selling the like jersey for it. But overall yeah, they're just a cool shoe. I got them off of eBay during last year. Um, I bought a Last year I was sort of like a, a phone posit seller. Uh, in the end I bought and sold seven or eight pairs of them and then copped one for personal. In phone posit or in the phone posit world, UK 10 is extremely hard to get your hands on. This is the only pair out of an overall of nine pairs that I've had that are in UK 10. So. They are extremely hard to get and I have been offered obviously by friends to sell them at points if if they want like if I wanted to because they are after them because UK 10 is that difficult to get. Okay the final pair are the Air Max 98s. That doesn't say Supreme does it? Are the Air Max 98 Supremes um, or Supreme collab shoe. But yeah, these are the 98s in the red colorway. Did you see the bottom? If it had a clean, it would probably look a lot better but yeah. On the back, this part says world, the other one says famous. Um, overall, it's just a cool shoe, really cool shoe. Um, I have an outfit that's sort of set for it, which you'll see during this video, but um, I would probably only wear it if I was like, if I was invited, I think, to like an event or something at some point, you know, I'm not pushing my limit. Um, but if I was ever invited to like an event or something of the sort, I would, this is what I'd probably wear if it was a cold day, you know, not a hot day. I'm not wearing this outfit that's sort of set up on a hot day. I'm not going to be melting, you know, to go to an event. Okay, next we've got two like miscellaneous, I'll call them. It's the best way to call them items. Um, one I believe is an accessory, but I didn't include it in the accessory video because I forgot, I think. Um, I forgot about it. And the other I actually forgot that I owned um, because it was in a cupboard. So yeah, let's grab them. Okay, the first comes from SS16 and it is a pair of abstract swimming trunks or water shorts, they call them. These are actually dead stock with tags. I've never actually tried them on or worn them. Um, because as soon as I got them, these were from my brother. I didn't cop them. These were from my brother. He gave them to me. He got himself a pair and gave me a pair. Um, and I was going to take them on holiday during that summer time uh, to wear. And I completely forgot about them because I just put them in my cupboard. So their retail was £89, I believe. Um, but obviously at the time, if things don't sell, people sell things for cheaper. And I ended up with a pair because of that. Currently, there's one pair on... US like ebay.com US side and I believe they're up for 160 pounds or 170 pounds so nowadays swimming trunks are worth a lot so the other item is in here I actually taped it up I can I just undo it like that no of course not the sellotape writ brilliant this has been taped up for about a good four months three four months 
This is the Supreme boxing robe. It should have been in my accessories video, but it wasn't. In the red colorway. So, funny story about the boxing robe. I need to go and put some footage away in a second or get some more footage. Um, so I've got a minute to explain before this stops recording. Funny story about the boxing robe. I went to cop it for retail. I wasn't recording on the day. This was in like the early days of last year for the full winter when I was just starting to record weekly. Uh, I recorded the prior week. I wasn't going to record this week because I just didn't feel like it. So I went in, went for it, got a card decline. About an hour and a half later, I went onto my emails and I had a confirmation for it. Um, I believe it's called a ghost order when you get something like that. Okay, I've just gone and removed some footage. So, um, this boxing robe went through it as a ghost order. I'm not going to explain the details. I don't know the full details of how it can happen. But it went through as a ghost order and I ended up with it. So, lucky me. <laughs> okay, next up we're going to be going through t-shirts or tees in general. I've got three here that are still in the bags. Um, and then about six, I think, ish that I wear or have. So, okay, firstly, we're gonna go through the ones that I own and we'll be going through them uh, as one, like in the order of what I, like my favorite or my least favorite, we're going into my favorite. So that's the order we're gonna be following. Okay, my least favorite because I figured out what it was and it is the Karma Sutra Xmas tea. Um, obviously December. I really wanted to cop it until I realized what was actually going on on the piece. It's a funny piece regardless. Um, but it's definitely my least favorite because I can't really wear it out in public too much unless I go to an event. Next up has the exact same reasoning. It is the fuck love tea. Um, it's a good tea overall, except for the fact that it says <laughs> fuck on it. Um, I wore this to my uni at one point and we actually had a lady come in who was not inspecting but she was from another company and we were meant to make a good impression so luckily I zipped up what I had on at the time to cover this up but it's still a good tea um, it's just a tea to wear you know uh, I was going to keep it to resell at one point but then I realized that it just wasn't going to resell so I just ripped the bag open and just put it straight on okay next up we have the sumo tea um, I did have another tee of this in blue and then I had the hoodie in black but I sold them at November's Crep City because the hoodie was just such a rugged, horrid material. It was like the person had tried to wash it but only washed it with like water, nothing else, no detergent or anything so it didn't go any like softer um, and it was just horridly rugged, like just not nice. It was just like they'd left it in a corner just to go solid so. But yeah, this is the sumo tee. Um, I like this tea, however it's started to fade as it's been washed like three times now. Uh, so yeah, that's the only sad part about some of these. Okay, next up, Spring Summer 16 tea. Great pickup this was for me personally. It's obviously the clouds, I've got the sticker of it, uh, but it's this is the sh** tea. Um, yeah, overall just, just a cool tea. Um, should be rocking it this summer hopefully, but this is my second favourite tea. I just really, really do like this piece. Like, it's just a great piece. And my favourite tea, now that I can get his name correct, is the M.C. Escher. I used to call it M.S. It's the M.C. Escher tea, um, with all of his pieces of work on it, which is it's just overall such a cool tea. It is just one of my favourite pieces by like a long shot. Um, I've worn it about five times now, so it has started to disappear a little bit and fade a bit, but it doesn't matter because most most tees that you pick up are meant to be worn, unless it's like a box logo tee that could go up, but it has got a box logo on it just off the back. But yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite tees. Okay, next up we have tees that are in bags. These are actually a surprise order to me uh, because I don't know what order they are in. Okay, I know what this one is. This is the... Uh, the world tea, I believe it is, the FTW tea, the embroidered tea from week one. When I picked this tea up, I had someone comment saying, why would I pick up some of the deadest items of the week? However, now everyone is saying, oh, it's like the best tea of the season, best drop from week one, best this, best that. And they're going for like $150, $160 now, depending on the size. So I picked it up because it was embroidered. People, the, I don't know why some people can't realize that. If a tee is embroidered, it's not going to fade. And for me personally, if I have tees fading, I pick this up, it's an amazing pickup. I was going to wear it on the first day that I picked it up, 
until I thought I'll hold on to it and see how it does at the end of the season. And if it's gone up to like 200 pounds or 150 pounds at the end of the season, I'll probably sell it. Regardless, it is an amazing tea. Next, we have the White House tea from the Public Enemy Undercover collab. I got it in the white colorway. Um, still haven't worn it. I don't know. I, I'm terrible when it comes to some bits of Supreme that I will just stock them away and that's it. Like, you won't see it for like six months. It's got, it will literally just be hidden for six months. So, the final tea that we have, oh, I actually forgot about this one, is the TV tea. Again, another amazing summer tea this is. Um, if I don't sell it, I'm just going to be rocking it this season because it's just dope tea. Um, however, the sizing is meant to be a lot bigger than anticipated, so I'll have to see on that. But that and the FTWT are definitely two of the best teas I think that have dropped this season, death by long shot. They're two of the best teas, personally. Personally, personally the FTW and FT, FTW and TBT are definitely two of the best teas that have dropped this season, just from a personal perspective. I actually completely forgot about one tea that I don't wear that is stocked. Um, that I've had stocked for the past year now and it is the taxi driver Robert De Niro tea. Now obviously the box logo section on this has faded a bit however it's Heather Gray it's the picture of him or the print of him is still intact it's not cracked and or anything like that and it's in a size small. A size small in most of these teas is extremely difficult to pick up. Fortunately though at about five in the morning <laughs> on um god damn Five of the morning on eBay during last year, somebody put in the group chat that I'm in uh, that they saw this and because I got the skateboard deck, they said, Would, are you going to go for this? And I bid on it and got it for like £80, £90. I had an offer last year of 135 on it. £50 or £40 profit wasn't enough for the time that I'd kept it for, which was about four months at that point. Uh, so in my mind, I just thought, I will keep it for like another amount of time. I'm just gonna hold on to it and just see if it goes up anymore. So that's what I've done. Okay, next up are hoodies and jackets, pretty much to finish everything off. So first up is obviously the floral hoodie, SS12. I picked it up to go with the cap, obviously. This is one of my favorite Supreme hoodies by a long shot. It's got the little S there. But it's one of my favourite hoodies by a long shot. I've worn it like 10 or 11 times. It's just a great piece. I really do like it. The material is extremely soft as well, which is not normal for Supreme items. Next up, GT hooded sweatshirt. Again, one of my favourite pieces. However, I decided to let my brother wear it when we went to sell his mini bike. And it is now like stained all around the hood. That's why I don't let him wear my stuff. He was in a hurry, so he needed something, and I regrettably let him wear it. But definitely, the GT Hood sweatshirt is one of my favorite pickups that I got during last year on the hoodie side. The hoodie came out the same week as the Supreme Mountain Parker, so it's a pretty good week for things like that. Next up is the obvious MLK. Is the obvious MLK hoodie. Really nice piece embroidered at the hood saying in Supreme. Really nice piece. It didn't sell out in, U in the EU, but it did in the US, so. I just think it's a nice piece. When I said that I had to zip something up in one of my lessons, it was this, which is the I pledge allegiance to sh jacket, you know, hooded jacket, whatever you want to call it. Zip up with the buttons and everything. Really nice piece. I wear it most days to uni because it is just an easy piece to wear and it's just extremely comfortable and unless it's boiling hot, then it's not extremely comfortable, but in most cases it's extremely comfortable and just a nice piece. The next hoodie was in a box. Just over there. This is obviously the Undercover Public Enemy Again collab. This is the hoodie that came out. It's now selling under retail. That is absolutely hilarious because people bought it to try and resell it. Um, I'm going to keep it until winter time and then I can wear it because summertime isn't the best for a hoodie obviously and I'd, I'll break it in at that point. But yeah, a lot of people were getting it to resell which I just found hilarious because I think it's like it retailed at $203 or something like that. And on StockX, it's selling for like $170, $160 because people thought that everything would go for a price from that collab. I find that absolutely hilarious. Okay, next up, it's inside out currently, which I apologize for, uh, but it has been washed and it has been drying because I went to McDonald's and so you wouldn't be able to see it, but currently there is a small stain on this because I went to McDonald's and got a drink 
and McDonald's being McDonald's, you know, they can't do cups properly, so they gave me a broken cup and it went on my lap, so there's one stain left out of it, but yeah, this is my Ice Blue Box logo. Um, I picked it up for resale. Not an amazing, like a good price on the like week of when I got it because they were going for around 700 and I think I got it for around 600 or just under 600. Um, I've worn it again a handful of times because it's just a nice piece and I have a sort of full outfit for it when I wear it out. So yeah, it's probably not worth that price anymore, but you know, it, it, I'm going to keep it because it's my piece. So it's not like a, it's not like I bought it to resell it. I bought it to wear it and keep it. And that's what I've been doing. I did not realize how long this video was going to be. Um, so I'm gonna have to get and move more footage again. And then we can go on to the final like three pieces. And then I'll have to try and take a thumbnail picture of this, which would be amazingly easy. <laughs> it's not gonna be easy at all, at all. Okay, so I've just moved another amount of the footage. This video might even be like 40 minutes long, which is ridiculous. And it's actually now half 10. Um, I've been out and doing, getting this video ready for like, well since 8.30ish, so it's been two hours, but yeah. Let's move on to the final pieces of this video. Um, two of them, or one of them's decent, one of them's even more decent. The other two or three bits are up to the insane level, um, just for me personally. The first two are actually recent pickups, uh, but they are just insane because one of them probably go up in value towards the end of this season and into full winter it will start to rise because winter time. This piece is just insane for me personally because um, it's just a nice design. It's At the time I hated on the design, but I really liked the design after having it in hand. And overall for the summertime, it's just going to be a dope piece if it's not too hot. That's the dependent. So it's obviously the Lacoste crew neck. Um, I've been told that the sizing is misleading, so I might need to try and get a medium, but I will see. I hope that I don't need to, but I might possibly have to because I have been told now that somebody who wears a large need is, like, is going to trade theirs to get a medium because these fit quite big. So, yeah, that's going to be annoying. The other piece is obviously the North Face Mountain Parker. I got it in XL. If it was in large or medium, it would have sold like instantly. On the day, I could have got a really good price for it. However, I was told to hold on to it by a family member who is into Supreme. You can probably guess who. Um, I mean, personally, it looks a hundred times better than it did online. Online, it just looked, it looked like tin foil. It literally looked like tin foil or like duct tape. Um, but it looks a hundred times better, like in person. Now it won't go into the bag. <laughs> but yeah, in person, it just looks so much better than it did online. Okay, the next piece, another Mountain Parker. Pretty obvious of what it is. More expensive than the other one. It's the Mountain Parker from last season. Um, yeah, I picked it up in a medium. I've kept it dead stock ever since. Um, at the time, I could have got, I think, £500 for it. Currently, it's like 950 a thousand pounds. So I think if I keep it until the full winter this year, it'll go up even more. And that's when I'll probably cash out on it. Um, definitely one of my best pickups of last year. Um, for the price wise, yeah, definitely one of the best from last year. Okay, so I, I was lying about saying that I only had like two hats. Because I do have a third, but I wanted to keep it for this set. Literal, I have the set. This is the Steep Tech. North Face, Supreme, Drop, Collab, whatever. I have the cap or the five panel, whatever it is, still with its tags, not worn at all. Um, I still have the jacket, I've worn the jacket uh, like twice now. And I have the bottoms, which are also dead stock. Um, when I said crazy, I, I meant it for this, like it's just crazy. Here's the cap, still got the cardboard or whatever inside. Um, I don't know what they go for nowadays, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be selling it. So, I don't, how do I do this? Like lift it like that? Yeah, nearly there, hey. So as you can see, there are the bottoms um, to it. I can get the little Supreme tag as well. These were $168, Supreme SS16. This is the Steep, Steep Tech set, pretty much. Um, I wore it once to a gaming event and just the jacket side and that was pretty much it. I wouldn't sell it for like anything. I just, I just wouldn't sell it because it, it, it's, it's just an amazing set. 
Um, my brother also had the olive jacket and the bottoms and the cap, I think it was, or maybe just the bottoms and the joggers, but I think he got rid of the jacket, which was disappointing because we were going to do like a fit pic sort of thing. You know those Instagram pictures, um, but that never came to fruition. At the time I wore the jacket, obviously somebody who was uploading gaming videos and getting like 100, 200 views a video, having a Supreme Steep Tech jacket was quite shocking to people and a lot of them said it was fake, which was amazing. But yeah, that was, that was the thing that pretty much got me into Supreme, that and my abstract camp cap definitely thrusted me forward into this. And now two years later, I have probably like two rooms full of items um, that half of them I probably couldn't even put a price on because I wouldn't sell them because they're personal to keep, you know? Anyway, that's going to bring this video to an end. If you enjoyed, like, be much appreciated. I said it was going to be a long video. I was expecting it to be about 20 minutes, but I really underestimated it. Comment down below what your either favourite piece that you've got, favourite piece that, favourite piece <laughs> that you'd like to get, or favourite pre piece, I can't speak today, favourite piece out of everything that I've got. Um, because I'd always like to see what other people's thoughts are or comments are. Personally, I have a grail of wanting to get the Supreme Jordan Varsity Jacket. Um, it basically goes for just about its retail, which was about £600. Uh, I offered someone on one last year or the year before, something like that for it. Um, they turned me down instantly. Uh, they said, this is going to go up in price and blah 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 it's actually dropped in price so they should have taken my offer of like 700 I think I offered at the time and I saw one go for 650 or so um, a couple of months ago so probably should have taken my offer other than that the Supreme Playboy varsity jacket from years ago is a grail piece for me um, a guy in my group chat keeps linking me to them but I can't afford it at the time being, you know, at this time, it's like £1,500, I think. Unless I sell half this stuff, or a majority of this stuff when I come to selling it, you know, I'm not going to be able to get that yet, unfortunately. But yeah, that's definitely a grail for me. Other than that, I have a skateboard grail of um, Sean Cliver 2008 Halloween skateboard deck. I won't show a picture of it because it is quite offensive, but that is a grail skateboard deck of mine that I'd like to get at some point. So yeah. That's going to bring this video to an end. I'm glad I finally got it recorded because I was going to record it midweek but I didn't have the time because of uni and I submitted an assignment yesterday which I'm very happy with. Uh, so yeah, now I have to go and take the thumbnail picture which will be amazingly easy and that's it. Thank you very much for watching if you have got to like this point um, and yeah, thank you for the support on the past couple of videos again. It's amazing. Other than that, I will see you on Monday or tomorrow possibly for another video. But yeah, I need to go and edit this now to try and get it out in about two hours time. <laughs> so yeah, peace. Some high quality H2O right there. I love that film so much. much.